mind twisted like some dress on a Jamaican's head. Vicky lingerie, kind of slippers, pedals on the bed. Yo, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today, man? First thing first, thank you for your love and your support. I highly appreciate it. Can't express it enough. Real talk, real shit. So anyways, y'all, happy new year to everybody. I got a lot of new videos dropping, you know, um, a lot of new videos dropping, y'all. So happy new year to everybody. And um, I want to show my support to everybody, you know, just when tuning in, watching my videos and not just watching the videos, but sharing the videos. Um, it's so many day ones. I've been showing a lot of love and support. And one of the few ways that I want to give back is I'm going to give out a free iPhone 14 plus. You ain't got to pay no money to enter. You just got to go to RafaCreator.com. I'm going to leave the link tomorrow on my YouTube, but it's going to go down on my Facebook. OK, so all you got to do is subscribe to my Facebook. You know, once I see you subscribe to my Facebook, get you can get how many tickets you want. And then, like I said, um, it's free. Y'all ain't got to pay for nothing. The tickets are free. OK, because I don't have a system where I can pick a winner. You know what I mean? But I want to make sure that somebody that win it actually been watching my videos, support my videos and um, and share my videos. And I know who they are. You know what I mean? So this is one of my few ways of giving back. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. OK, now you all already know we got to get into this, man. Now, I keep telling y'all and I'm going to keep telling y'all again, man, y'all can't believe everything on the news. OK, y'all just can't y'all can't sit back and believe that everything they telling y'all on the news is real. It's like y'all picking and choosing what y'all want to believe. But when it comes to the news, y'all literally believe in everything. OK, even all the way to the damn weather, man. It's, it's sad. So with people checking their phones every day for the weather, you know what I'm saying? That's how much y'all are relying on social media. Y'all relying on the news. You know what I mean? And for the ones that sitting back and say, yo, I don't watch the news. You watch social media. That's the same as the news because you're getting the news first before you actually watch the actual news. It's the same thing. Y'all cannot believe everything they put out there. So let's take it. Let's take it back, man. They saying that she allegedly died today. Died yesterday. OK, now you got to ask yourself, is that possible? Of course, it's possible. Right. But isn't it just a great coincidence that all of these rappers and celebrities are starting to drop like flies? Ever since the pandemic, I mean, come on, y'all. And is it just a coincidence that a lot of these celebrities that they're not being killed, they're killing themselves like some drug overdose? I mean, we just had what Aaron Carter, you know what I mean? And it, is that just a coincidence, y'all? You know what I mean? Y'all got to make a lot of this make sense. Like, yeah, it's possible for people to overdose. Don't get me wrong, but come on now. You know what I'm saying? Who's sitting at home, you know what I'm saying? Taking, doing all those drugs at 40 years old. Like, come on, man. Some of the stuff that they say don't even add up. If y'all just sit down and do your own research, and don't even add up. And then before they die, they always be hinted. Notice before every celebrity be dying. Tell me why there's always a lie they did right before they died. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. But I'm here to tell you that your girl slash your guy, because a lot of them are inverts. It's not who you think they are. OK, because if you are crying or if you one of them people that's sad and believe that these celebrities actually exist and actually real, there's no need to because she's still alive and she's playing the role of your man <laughs> or your girl, whatever y'all want to call it, because y'all scared to admit it. But these are men's Remy Ma. OK, it's no coincidence that these are the same people. OK, there is no coincidence. These are the same people, man. Mine is the fact that they slightly resemble each other. When you look at Remy Ma, you can tell that Remy Ma has on prosthetics and makeup. Yo, I got a video on my YouTube right now. It's a short video. It's an Asian lady who made herself look exactly like Kobe Bryant or spot on like Kobe Bryant. OK, with makeup. That's all she did with makeup. So they're just showing us right then and then, man, how Hollywood is. OK, if she can just transform into Kobe Bryant like that. Then what make you think it's it's so easy for Gangsta Boo to transform into Remy Ma? How much money could she make on Gangsta Boo? Let's be real. Like she faded out. Like, no, she's not popular like that at all. Other than her hometown, a few other cities compared to Remy Ma. Remy Ma is well known. You see, so she's going to make more money being Remy Ma. OK, something that I wanted to point out to y'all, man, if you look at uh, Gangsta Boo, her real name. It's a uh, Contrail, Chantrail, excuse me, Mitchell, right? 
but um, I thought I put it in there, but I didn't. Okay, but um, if you look at her last name, Mitchell, right? If you look at the last, you know, four letters, it's literally spell hell. And if you look at it, it say hell was found. Okay. Now, um, I know some people might not get that because I, I first didn't get it until I looked into it. And I'm like, man, this is like really crazy. You know, this is really crazy that her birthday was, you know, August 7th. And I thought this was also weird. This is why I'm doing the part two to somebody that um, actually knows that I know that know how to do Jamasha real good. But um, Papoose and his daughter, you know, they crashed Remy my set last year at August 8th. But the funny part about that, if you look on the Internet, a lot of places got it on August 6th, August 7th, August 8th. So it's like, what date did they really crash the set? Because at first they said they tried to make it seem like they crashed the set to check up on her. But then they was making it seem like Papoose crashed the set because some things was going on between her and Fat Joe. But regardless, regardless though, it's pretty much on her birthday, like spot on on her birthday. Right. OK. But I'm telling y'all, man, y'all got to pay attention to those type of things right there. Y'all really, really got to pay attention to those type of things. OK. Another thing is, too, man, I want y'all to understand that. Here, this is her throwing up the devil horns, okay? And a lot of y'all, I want y'all to, to see, like, a lot of y'all be talking about, like, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's like, that's like a hand sign, like, oh, cool, like groovy. And I get it, right? But she's clearly not a surfer now. She's from Memphis, Tennessee, allegedly, right? From the ghetto, the gutter, all of that, right? So you're throwing up a, just a, a surfer hand sign? Y'all just, y'all just try to make excuses for people, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all understand the truth of traumatized niggas. And that's what's the problem with a lot of y'all, especially a lot of black people. You know what I mean? The truth of traumatize y'all. Y'all afraid to wake up and be like, oh, yeah, because y'all got a million and one excuses to tell me why she's throwing these hand signs up. Then suppose that y'all got a million and one uh, clicks on the Internet or, or, you know what I mean, on what this sign mean and why do people throw these signs up? Like what black girl, you know, from Memphis throwing up a surfer, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on now, y'all. And I'm saying surfer because I have gotten these comments like, man, I'm strained with these comments of people like that ain't nothing like that. Just what what black person, you know, doing that, man. You know what I mean? If you, if they ain't throwing up their hood, throwing up they set, throwing up they click, you know what I mean? They probably throwing up the west side. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the east side or something, man. But come on now. You know what I'm saying? And then every time when you look to like, again, all you got to do is like look at these pictures, right? OK, so right here for me right here, this is good enough for me to tell. Like, this is clearly Remy Ma, right? And one thing that I want to show y'all, because one thing I wanted to show y'all right here is that when you look at Remy Ma right here, right? They stare at her eyes for a minute, y'all. And the reason why I'm telling y'all to stare at the eyes, because it, for me, y'all, I've gotten so much better that it don't matter what makeup or prosthetics or mask a celebrity wear. One thing they don't change on purpose is the eyes, because all they have to do is throw contacts in there. And I think if they threw contacts in there, that throw us off. But for some odd reason, they want us to know. You know what I mean? They want us to know. It's like somebody can tell you what they're doing. Somebody can show you what they're doing without telling you what they're doing. And Hollywood does a great job of that. They show us what they do, but they don't tell us what they do, you know, because they know they can with people like myself as conspiracy theorists. You know, and again, y'all, these are the same people, okay? Again, okay, this is her and um, Fat Joe. Again, y'all, being subliminal by a white brick wall, you know what I mean? And then, you know, you got the make Sonic, black and white, okay? And here, there she go with all red. I know a lot of people will look at this picture and find nothing wrong with it, you know what I mean? But I know, and I apologize for the picture being so blurry. But if you look at Remy Ma, she's literally throwing up the devil horns. The same thing as uh, Gangsta Boo in the other pictures. And again, there's somebody from, uh, what, Castle Hill, uh, Brooklyn, New York. You know what I'm talking about? And again, y'all, this is somebody clearly, clearly uh, affiliated, okay? And it's no coincidence, man. Again, who's going to keep throwing up those signs like means cool and groovy? A black chick at that, man? Come on, man. I, that's not making no sense, y'all. Y'all just making excuses for these people. And then here go to here go to again, you know, what I'm talking about, okay? The, so it's so funny because this picture tells a thousand words. Have y'all ever played a game 
and they'd be like, find seven things wrong with this picture, but it'd be the exact same picture. They do that to fool y'all. It's the same thing here, y'all. Just find seven things wrong with this picture, man. And leave them in the comments, man. This I, I found 13, but <laughs> leave, leave them in the comment, y'all, okay? Number one, I just want to start off with the face, y'all. Look at the eyes, okay? This is this this is a uh, gangster blue teeth. This is gangster blue eyes. You know what I'm saying? And again, you can see the Adam's apple hiding underneath there, but you can just clearly tell the amount of makeup this person got. I mean, it's layers on layers of makeup, and you can clearly just tell if you look from the upper lip, hit it straight to the front, the left or, or what is that the right nostril? My right nostril, which probably you guys is left. You can tell all the makeup. I mean, it's layers of makeup she got on her face. You know, and you could just tell and they and they, they do this all the time, man. They do this all the time. You know, when we see these women wearing big earrings, we think nothing of it. But in Hollywood, they they help in covering up, you know, they covering up. That's why they always be having like scarves and, you know, uh, customized stuff to fit them. You know what I'm saying? The image and stuff like that. OK. And again, y'all, I can name 13 things wrong with this picture, but I want y'all just watching the video and I appreciate appreciate y'all for watching the video just to to do your own research and figure out what's wrong with this video. Because I could tell y'all this picture because I could tell y'all right now, man, this picture is fake and it's photoshopped. You know what I mean? Anybody got a, a vlog star, you can tell if you if you know how to clout uh, pictures off vlog star that you can. This is one way of telling this picture is clearly fake. Clearly fake, okay? And again, why are they doing this? And again, y'all, y'all got to understand um, another thing that y'all not going to catch on to, okay? Gangster Boo, right? She's from Memphis, Tennessee, okay? And uh, Remy Ma's from New York. So the M for Memphis is in the alphabets to go M, N, you see? So she went from Memphis to to New York. So she went from M in from Memphis to New York. OK, literally same person. Now, you know what I'm saying? And again, all y'all got to do is ask yourself, what's the purpose of it? I'll tell y'all what I feel like. What's the purpose is it's to confuse y'all. It's to push agendas, right? It's to push agendas because you got to understand, y'all, you know how many people growing up in Memphis right now? They need somebody in for, just for Memphis, right? Just like they need somebody for every state, right? To push the drug agenda, to push the killing agenda. You know what I'm saying? And when they finish with, with their assignment, when they feel like they no longer need need them, they kill their character off. And we think that, oh, you know, they actually killed them off. See, the label companies can no longer make money off of her. They're not making money off of her. But today's date, they're making more money than they ever made off of her. Because every time a celebrity dies, they are making about 10 times more money when they're dead than alive than they ever make. And again, she's making more money as Remy Ma. So why would she, you know what I mean? She's really out here getting the bag for real. You see what I'm saying? She's really out here getting the bag for real. Y'all got to ask y'all, ask these type of questions, okay? You know what I mean? You got three, six mafia, juicy J. You got all these multi allegedly millionaires and, you know, her mother spoke out and they're going to do a GoFundMe for her. It, it's the same, man. It's just like didn't Mayweather say he paid for George Floyd funeral. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, how is that making sense, man? Like y'all got to y'all got to open your eyes, man. You she just around all these millionaires and uh, nobody can just drop that bag real quick for a funeral. But they want us to do it. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Y'all putting y'all y'all putting too much emotions involved, man. Y'all gotta wake up. You know what I'm saying? With that said, much love, respect to everybody. May y'all have a good day. And again, y'all, if y'all haven't already, go subscribe to my Facebook. And between today and tomorrow, uh, for sure, you'll be able to um, enter the raffle. And a raffle will be literally about two months. I want to give everybody a fair chance because I know people be going on vacation. Not everybody catch the videos when they come out. You know what I mean? I want to give everybody that's been subbed to me a good chance of winning. You know what I mean? A fair chance of winning. I don't have a system in play, like I said, to pull tickets. So this, this is why I use Raffle Creator. And this is why I'm charging zero dollars and zero cent because I want somebody uh, to win. You know what I'm saying? Much love, respect to everybody. May I have a good day.